Good morning, how are y'all? It is about 6.15, I'm meeting Trevor at the boat ramp at seven. So, we're running a little behind. I gotta get out there, put some stuff in the boat, and we're gonna go catch some crappie. Cause tonight, we're having crappie tacos. And Natalie has been making fun of me because the water's been muddy and we've had some hot, good warm weather and some cold fronts move through and fishing has just been tough. So this morning, we're gonna go out and get after them. It's supposed to be beautiful today. It's a little foggy this morning, a little misty, but I'd say here just shortly that ought to burn off and we're gonna be on them. Y'all go with us. Don't forget to put your plug in the boat. I have been guilty of it. Alright guys. I'm going to grab some paper towels to wipe this graph down this morning. Dry the dew off of it. And then we're out of here. That's all verified, don't even have to measure. He's about 10 and a half. Nice little fish. He's a gutter. Don't you, buddy? I get worried about throwing them bigger ones in with them smaller ones. catch crappie before you had a live scope. I said, you mean back in the 1900s? We used to catch a lot of them without them. Yeah, no doubt. I'd uh, 
back then somebody said you uh this was possible you'd have called him a liar oh you idiot know? <laughs> burn him at the stake for witchcraft <laughs> <laughs> I'm not disappointed at him. Oh, you can't, you can't miss that fish. That's a two pounder. You cannot, yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the stringer. <laughs> that was the stringer. What are you talking about? You can't miss him. He don't like to bite very often, but when he does, oh, you can't miss him. I don't need to miss him. I felt him though. You got the feeling. I didn't want to clean one that big anyway. Guess somebody's hungry or jealous. Two great emotions of a fish. Hungry or no, you can't have it as mine. Ooh, which one was he? What we got here? Oh! <laughs> God. That almost smacked me in the face, and I wasn't even gonna move. I'd have been honored. <laughs> I'd have been. He's two or three in there, he eight. supposed to crossbow hunt at night now. Verified, Trevor verified. Witness. Witnessed. He's a keeper. Just then.
fix and clear up. Yeah. And then they're going to bite. 100%. <coughs> Did you say you had tuberculosis? I think so. I'm pretty sure. I've been thinking about moving out west and playing cards for a living. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call it? Uh, consum he died of consumption. <laughs> yeah, he died of consumption. <laughs> No, you will. Well, no, he ain't either. Oh, <laughs> hey there, feller. Come here. He, he ain't big. Don't look at him. He gets, he gets nervous. <laughs> Girl, we're not showing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I dropped him. Dropped him. <laughs> I was gonna measure him. I believe he's. <laughs> tired so I just went ahead and filleted them and now today what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut all the ribs out of them and uh, once I get those cut out Toby get out of here once I get those cut out then we'll just start in and show you guys a little blackened recipe for crappie tacos the bait of choice yesterday for me was a monkey milk Bobby Garland with a 16th ounce jig head. Trevor was using, looked like about a 3 8 ounce. I never asked him, but it looked like about a 3 8 ounce uh, sinker with a bobber stop above and below it, rubber bobber stops, or uh, so, yeah, rubber bobber stops above and below it. And then he was running just a bait hook and minnows. So, that's what we were running for bait. We ended up with 16 keepers yesterday, which is better than it has been, but not as good as it will be. Spawn is right around the corner. We're not seeing as many big fish down in the main lake right now. They're kind of heading up, looks like. But the water is still swift, still muddy. Trevor's fishing today, actually. I talked to him earlier. I think they ended up with 15 fish today up uh, toward the river. So anyway, it's going to be one of those deals when spawn hits where a person will be able to go up and really do some damage. Okay, so I patted these fillets dry. We put them on this pizza pan. We were just talking about this night before last. Natalie and I have had this pizza pan for about 20 years since we got married. It's been a good one. But <clears throat> you just sprinkle your blackening season on and you don't have to go super heavy just sprinkle it on there all right then you're just going to flip your fillets they need to be somewhat dry and then repeat crop is a light fish so you just don't want to get crazy with it but you want to put enough that you know you've seasoned it. All right, go. While that's all heating up, what we're going to do is make a homemade tartar sauce. Shout out to Tub Trash on the mustard. That's something I didn't do until they came up, and that was uh, pretty good. We're just going to give it a little dash of mustard. <clears throat> 
What I like to do is equal parts. I like Hellman's. I think it's the best mayo on the planet. Everybody's got their own opinion. But. We don't want to use two different spoons. Or the same spoon, rather. So we're going to put the same amount, roughly, of relish as we put mayo. I like to put just a touch of sugar in. Some garlic. And we like that bite, so we're gonna throw a little bit of cayenne in. And then plenty of lime. We're gonna mix that up and then we'll give it a taste test. But that's gonna be your homemade tartar. We do it a lot. It's always good. That's gonna be really good on tacos. Yes. Okay, so over here to the skillet. I've got one whole stick of sweet cream butter cut into fourths, quarter it out. You want to cook them hot. When you're blackening crappie, you don't want to cook them slow. So you get your sweet cream butter in, get it melted, and use plenty. You want to turn up to medium high to high. Listen to that sizzle. Mm -hmm. You guys look at that. Perfect. Perfectly seasoned. Now kind of keep an eye too on the pieces you're putting in. Some of them are going to be thicker than the others. What you're looking for is you're looking for them to cook through. You're going to see it as it comes through. Flip. I'm definitely not going to tell you you've got to have a cast iron skillet, but it does help. 100%. I'm going to flip one of these small ones and show you guys what we're doing with this. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. We'll go through. That one fell apart. You're gonna have that with crappie. They are very, very light fish. But the good news is, is when we're done with them, we're gonna break them up anyway. Look at that. There's some of y'all right now. I'll forget it. If you ain't. You ought to be. And there was probably a little premature. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna leave that one on the side for a minute. Spatula. Oh, no, it's not done, but it's blowing up like a spaceship. That's what I said, it's too hot. Let the air out of it a little bit. When you get your grease too hot, because you're trying to do too many things at once, it ends up blowing up like a spare tire. But they don't take long to cook. I mean, this is why I have no way to... I know what you do. Now you fold it. Make it into a taco. Then, you stick it right here. Look at that. Wee!
<laughs> We're gonna open her up a food truck next week, put her to work. I brought That's you some crappy tacos. Yum. I brought I'm you good. some uh, brisket noodles. Brisket noodles. Yeah. She don't ever come without food. She said, what can I bring? I said, don't worry about it. You don't have to bring anything. I brought you some brisket noodles. Well, I'll take it. All right, guys. When you get done, this is what you end up with. Take a little of that homemade tartar. Spread across the top of that. Look at that. I don't know what else you could ask for other than come over here. Get you a fork. She's Get you a fork. Dig into these banana peppers. Also homemade, grew them in the garden. Uh, Vlasic's garden. Guys, that's it. I'm gonna step over this and take a bite for you because you we're fixing to sit down as a family. Nah, I'm not gonna eat any on this one. Oh my God. That's really good. You guys haven't tried that? Your order. Well, there you go. Pretty informal night around the Sullivan household, but the tacos were great. Um, if you guys want to try something new and you haven't tried that, I highly suggest you try it. I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe, share it with a friend. We got a really good trip coming up next week. You're not going to want to miss that. And we're looking forward to it. So we'll let you know when we head that way where we're headed. And uh, I think it's going to be a great video and a great time. So y'all go with us.